Blockchain technology and cryptocurrency is going to disrupt the entire real estate industry from residential to commercial and industrial and multifamily residential. In fact, it's already happening and you don't even know about it. Blockchain in real estate. Today, I'm gonna to talk about what the blockchain is and why it's going to eventually impact every person on earth from homeowners to investors. What is blockchain technology? Well, it's a digitized distributed ledger that immutably records and shares information. Immutably meaning it cannot be changed. So some examples are death, taxes, and the laws of physics. So think of a ledger as a locked Excel sheet and every transaction is recorded. Transactions are inputted into the sheet and since no one can make changes to it, it is accurate and secure. And this is what Bitcoin is, it's blockchain technology. The problem blockchain technology solves are inefficiencies and inaccuracies. So the blockchain technology in real estate provides a much faster and efficient transaction. I will share some examples later in this video. Now that you guys know what blockchain technology is, let's dive into what blockchain technology in real estate would look like. Hey guys, my name is Felix Chan, realtor and mortgage broker with the Live Interstate Real Estate team in Calgary. And on our channel, we bring you the best real estate tips, home tours, and mortgage tips. And if you guys want an unlimited mobile plan starting at $50 per month uh, under our realtor plan, type in mobile plan in the comments below and I'll send you the link. Okay, I'm gonna break this down into two main categories. Number one, smart contracts in real estate. So we know Bitcoin is a blockchain technology. Well, in 2015, a group of guys got together and thought, well, what if we put a contract on the blockchain where it is automatically run by preset rules? That was the rise of Ethereum and smart contracts, which essentially is programmable money and transactions. Smart contracts can assume the rules of listings, payments, and legal documents. So intermediaries like realtors, Lawyers and banks may have much less involvement in real estate transactions compared to today. As a result, buyers and sellers will save more money by reduced fees for these services and have a smoother transaction because once one step of the process is complete, the next step is automatically triggered, all without humans. Number two, blockchain real estate tokenization. Now tokenization for real estate is the process of creating a virtual token that represents ownership of a specific type of real estate asset. So as an example, let's just say a house is worth $100,000. With tokenization, you can buy a token that represents the full 100% ownership of that home. But let's take that one step further. And instead of one token worth $100,000, let's break it into 10 tokens worth $10,000 each. What does that mean? We now have fractional ownership of real estate. Now, traditionally, as an investor, you need a minimum of 20% down to own an income property here in Canada. On a $500,000 piece of real estate, that is $100,000 you need to come up with. This would make investors wait to save that cash or uh, have multiple investors pool their funds together. Instead, in the near future, you could buy tokens worth $10,000 each, as an example, so you have real estate exposure in your investment portfolio. This reduces the barrier to entry and it now levels the playing field because what was once dominated by wealthy and large corporations is now available to regular folks like you and I. Now, let's take this even one step further. And this is the exciting part. If you can tokenize real estate and it would be similar like owning shares and equities, what if we started trading these tokens on an exchange? What problems would that solve then? Well, traditionally to sell real estate, it would take you a month to many months. And if there was an exchange, then real estate assets would just be as liquid as equities trading online with a tap of a finger. And since everything is going to be on the blockchain, the history of transactions for a specific real estate asset will be public information, which can help you with your due diligence. 
This liquidity will allow us to see in real time what a real estate asset is worth. There's even an association called the International Blockchain Real Estate Association, which is a research organization that provides objective research and analysis on the development and practical use cases of the convergence of blockchain technologies, tokenization, and the real estate industry. They were founded in 2013 and their mission is to find innovative companies disrupting the real estate industry and bring them to the forefront for others to learn about. With smart contracts, all accounting entries would correspond to the exchange of digital values, which are then recorded on the blockchain, making the transfer visible and immutable. Anything purchased on the blockchain increases trust and provides greater transparency. This transparency will allow all individuals to see the entire transaction history of a property and it reduces the risk of fraud. The automation of real estate transactions will expedite contract processes, save time and reduce costs automatically by paying lawyers, appraisers, brokers and all involved parties when a property is sold. The one question I have is, how will lenders fund real estate? That is yet to be determined and I'm super curious about it. If you have any thoughts on that, let me know in the comments below. I personally think the legacy financial system would need to adapt to this blockchain technology super quick. Otherwise, there could be some DeFi companies that would be able to fill this gap for real estate. And for those who are watching our channel and own a big bag of crypto, it is possible for you to get a mortgage and buy real estate. If that is you and you wanna know how, let me know in the comments below. If I get enough interest, I will do a video on it. Guys, if you've watched all the way to the end, then I hope you've learned a few things from it. And if you have, I would love your support if you hit the like button and let me know in the comments what resonated with you the most. And if you found this information helpful, feel free to subscribe. We come out with this content all the time. If you're a real estate investor and you don't know how to get started or know what type of property to buy, make sure you check out our real estate investing playlist up here. My name is Felix Chan, Calgary Realtor and Mortgage Broker, and we will see you in a few seconds.